Mama D from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta season five got arrested for allegedly dining and dashing. She went to jail. Then she wrote about it online where she told us what really happened in that order. Order in the court. Order in the court. So here's what Mama D had to say about what really happened on social media because for the record, People thought that she ate the food and then just ran out of the restaurant and that's how she got arrested in Milwaukee. That's not exactly how it happened. Here's what really happened. She said, and I quote, reality shows make us seem like we are invincible, like we don't have feelings or families. I'm eternally grateful to my fans for your support and belief in me. Today, the court system found me not guilty of the charges you've been reading all over the blogs. Matter of fact, they dismissed the charges brought against me from Elsa's. It's sad that in today's society, you can't enjoy yourself without the police being called. This is not the first time a certain group of people have been targeted by this establishment. But okay, I can only pray for them and wish them well. I'm thankful because I've got the support of my fans, family, and friends. I want to say a special thank you to my friend Shay Johnson at I am Shay Johnson and her amazing family. No matter what people think, she always holds me down, end quote. Here's the deal. So that's Mama D on the left and that's Shay on the right. <laughs> now, who are the people that are being targeted? Is it ratchet people who come in the establishment and try to steal food underneath their hair hat? I mean, who, who are they targeting? Does she mean black people? Does she think that she was targeted because she was <laughs> she's black? I mean... I wish she would have been really specific about what she's referring to. Do they target women? Is it tall people? Is it people with musty feet? I need to know so I can blog about it the right way. Because I'm one of those weak ass blogs that went and posted the information about her dining and dashing. So, you know, I'm not trying to say I'm offended because I'm not. You know, I'm honored that Mama D said the word blogs and I'm a blogger technically even though I'm really a vlogger I'm more of the guy who makes videos as opposed to the guy who blogs I kind of blog as like a you know a tool to help me you know archive and whatnot my videos and as slight promotion but you know I'm mainly a vlogger but anyways the point is mama D said that she wasn't guilty or at least found not guilty so do you think that she was technically guilty, but yet they found her not guilty because of a technicality or something like that? Do you think she got away with being ratchet and trying to eat salads and breadsticks and run out or whatever she had that night? <laughs> Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. I just wanted to say this before I go. Mama D, in my opinion, was obviously not guilty. Because Mama D is the shit. But that's my opinion. I love me some Mama D. You know, Scrappy's cool. Mama D is cool. Love the Bambi. Fiznai. This is all my opinion, though. Let me know what you think about it below. Meat Magazine.